because unfortunately for a vulture, it has a featherless head. And so its head gets very, very cold and its neck. And so what they do is they tuck it into that rough of feathers that is around the sort of shoulder area and that just insulates that neck and helps to keep the blood that is going up to the brain a little bit warmer so that the vulture doesn't get cold. It's, th it's the reason why they fly with a very tucked in neck as well because they go to heights that are freezing cold and so they need to be able to insulate and keep everything nice and warm. But the nice thing is that we can actually see the chick really well this morning. Generally the chick is quite hidden but there's our little chick sitting on top of its nest and you can see that it's starting to develop quite nicely now. It's getting a little bit larger, it's the wings are starting to turn a brown coloration and getting quite big feathers and the neck itself is starting to lose some of those down feathers as well. So slowly but surely the chick is growing and it's getting bigger by the day and soon we're going to see it perching much like the adult just off the nest and then in a few weeks time or a few I'd probably say about a month and a half two months time we might even see it doing some little training flights which means it will just kind of hop off from the tree fly around a little bit try and exercise those muscles and exercise those wings and get its kind of balance sorted out in the air and then back to the nest again and slowly but surely those flights will get longer and longer and longer until it's fledged probably around I would say in March April we should see this guy well, well the sky I say it could be a lady too well this little one will be off the nest so it's quite a long process for a vulture they have a lot of work to do to be able to feed this chick you can imagine they have to go back and forth regurgitate from that crop and so these vultures will have been very busy nice thing for vultures is that they're such good flyers is that they can cover massive distances quite easily and be able to find the food that they need during the day and you'll often find this situation early in the morning where one vulture is not here and that's probably because that vulture is somewhere on a carcass and is feeding and it will come back come and feed the chick the other one will then go and also go and feed and try and find food so 